It is time to do a two year review on one of my most favorite bags, the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Celeste. We talk about all things luxury shopping and handbags. If you love those things, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification. I do post videos every week. So for those of you who've been following me on either Instagram or TikTok for a while, you know that it is no secret that the Palm Springs Mini is one of my favorite bags, hands down. Not only is this one of my most favorite bags, it's probably one of my most used bags. So for a lot of the bags in my collection, I look at it as like cost per wear. So the more times that I wear a bag, the lower the cost per wear is therefore it's like more worth it in my collection if that makes sense so for example a two thousand dollar bag if you use it 200 times the cost per wear each time you were to wear it it costs ten dollars versus if you buy a two thousand dollar bag and you use it twice each time you use it is a thousand dollars each so the more times that you wear a bag the better it is for like the cost per wear. So if you find yourself not using a bag, maybe it's time to sell it because the cost per wear is too high. Um, and I mentioned this because this bag's cost per wear is probably the lowest out of all of my bags. I use this bag all the time. I take this bag with me on vacations, um, day trips, like hikes, like literally anything that I need to be hands-free. This is the bag to do so because it fits so much. Like this bag, I feel like is deceivingly small um but it fits a full-size water bottle it fits a full-size wallet um i used to carry around like a little polaroid like fujifilm camera that fits in here um sunglasses like literally everything that you would need for like a day trip um it fits in this bag i brought this with me all the time and because it doesn't have a shed of leather the black handle is um treated leather and then the bag the rest of the bag is canvas it's very carefree um and i just love this bag so so much however this bag does have quite a few cons that no one really talks about so of course we're gonna talk about it um the first one being that the strap is too long so i am 4'11 um, and the shortest setting on this strap, it still hits like right at my butt. I feel like if it was a little bit shorter, um, it would be great. Um, I did get a like additional strap from, I forgot exactly which brand it was. I think I saw it on Etsy. Um, you can look up like Palm Strings Mini um, strap and it will like show up. And so I got additional straps because Louis Vuitton states that if you alter the original straps in any ways, even if you punch holes in them, if you shorten them, they will not fix your bag if there's any issues. And so being that the Palm Springs Mini notoriously has a lot of issues, I didn't want to risk that. And so I bought these additional straps off of Etsy and I had them altered. They looked okay with the bag. It didn't look like it didn't belong with the bag, but um, I had them altered. And I think that the cobbler like took off too much of the strap. And so it was a little bit too short. I don't have the straps with me anymore. I think I left them somewhere else, but I didn't love it. And so I currently, whenever I wear this bag, I wear it with the original strap on the short setting this is where it hits um it's not my favorite look i wish it was a tad shorter um but that is a con if you are on the shorter side like i am um i've also seen some like hacks when i first got this bag of like how to like manipulate the strap so it's a little bit shorter i didn't want to damage the strap by doing so i don't know that it does damage the strap i just like didn't want to risk it so that's kind of where we're at. Um, the strap is a con for me, but it's not a big enough con where I wouldn't buy the bag. The next thing and probably the most popular issue that a lot of people talk about is the glazing issue. So I did get this bag back in 2020, like June of 2020. So just around the two year mark at this point. And this is the new version of the bag. So you can see it's like the new version because it has the exposed zipper. The older version, I'll leave a picture here for you guys. And it has like the zipper tucked in under like the the little almost like a lip um and so that caused a lot of glazing issues um and when people refer to glazing issues with this bag or the bag cracking that's usually what they're talking about this bag doesn't have any of those issues allegedly um however i have noticed a lot of the glazing kind of like peeling off in the corners um in terms of just the corners have a lot of wear and tear in general which kind of makes sense because um it's almost unavoidable with these like rounded corners um you can see that the glazing has peeled off quite a bit um but it's not noticeable from far away. And I don't think that it's unavoidable either because when you're using the bag, sometimes it brushes up against your clothes, it brushes up against the car, like 
anything, right? And so the glazing will wear off over time. I also don't believe that they will repair it for free. Like I don't think that they will say this is like a defective item and replace it for you. Um, I think that a lot of the Louis Vuitton sales associates have been saying that this is just like a wear and tear issue. Not the end of the world for me, given how much I use this bag. But of course, when you're paying, you know, $2,000 plus for a bag, like there shouldn't be any issues two years in, you know? The next like wear and tear issue I've noticed is this black tag here. It almost like looks like it's about to split um, or like fray. I don't know exactly what the correct terminology is, but it doesn't look like it's in great condition. Um, I obviously don't want to like pick at it and like split it anymore, but um, it's not ideal. And I think again, it's because when you brush up on certain things or it starts to like lift over time, then it starts to, um, like do that. Um, again, something that you wouldn't expect when you're spending $2,000 on a bag. The last like con or like issue I have with this bag is the lack of consistency. I have seen some Palm Springs Mini, especially when I was first shopping for this bag, it was very inconsistent in terms of like the design, how um, the like the shape of the bag. So I've seen some people um, have their Palm Springs Mini pocket. It's like crooked. It's like not aligned here. Um, I've seen the black tag be crooked. Um, the pocket here is just like not aligned. Um, in terms of the back, I've also seen kind of like it, it looks a little bit uneven, like the stitching was off. For $2,000, like the consistency of this bag should be a lot better. I'm not sure why the there was just so much inconsistencies with this bag. I feel like when I was finding this bag, this was the best bag that I can find but mind you it still like wasn't perfect um I feel like this tag right here obviously it's a Louis Vuitton bag I mean it's plastered with Louis Vuitton monogram um but this tag right here could have been a little bit deeper embossed and it didn't really show that so even now like as the leather has softened over time you barely can see the Louis Vuitton um tag there. Is it a huge deal? No, because it did like, I feel like in terms of the actual shape of the bag, like this is as good as I can find it, but it was a little bit frustrating. And especially if you're looking for Palm Springs Mini now, um, it is a little bit frustrating to see how much inconsistencies there are. I've see, had some of you guys like message me like, oh, do you think I should return this? Or like, what do you think about this? Like, it looks a little bit off and like, yes, it looks off. Um, if you get offered or like are able to find one in stores um and it looks off to you don't buy it because like there should be way better quality control for a two thousand dollar bag okay so i guess the most important question of all is this an outdated bag do i still like it um two years in would i repurchase it a little bit of context this bag came out in 2016 and this was the first bag that was almost like gifted to a lot of influencers almost like how we feel about like the multi pochette the chanel 19. um it was gifted to a lot of influencers and um people thought of this as a very very trendy bag. This was almost one of the first bags that I think Louis Vuitton did that was a very trendy bag that like a lot of people thought would last like one or two seasons and then be over with. Um, that's why there was so much hype around this bag. It was almost impossible to get. People waited months to get on the wait list. Even now, this bag has been around for like what, six years now and people are still waiting for this bag. It's not easy to just like go on the website and see the bag is available online and you can purchase it online. Um, and same thing with like walking into stores. I very rarely hear that you can just walk into a store and they have a Palm Springs Mini like available. Usually you have to like be on a wait list. The wait list is not as long, I think, but that still goes to show that this bag is still very high in demand. I don't think that the bag is like over. However, I don't think that this bag is entirely timeless either because um, this bag, I feel in my opinion is a little bit geared towards like a younger demographic. Same thing with the multi pochettes. Um, and there's a few other bags that are geared a little bit more towards a younger demographic, maybe even the Chanel vanity, right? Versus um, there are a few bags that maybe geared a little bit towards like a more mature demographic or some bags that just like you can use whenever. Um, and I do feel like for this bag, it is a little bit on the younger side. I personally don't see myself using this when I'm 30 years old. Um, I'd probably swap this out and use like a tote or use a different bag. Um, and so for that reason, I don't know that it's a forever bag in my collection. Um, I could see me like hypothetically passing this down to like a future child to use because I feel like that would be cute. But um, I don't think that this is a forever timeless bag. Obviously you do you, if you love this bag and you're part of a more mature audience, then sure, get it, right? No one's, it's your money. You should do what you want with it. Um, but I think for me, like I don't really see this bag staying in my collection forever unless it's intended to be passed down like 
down the line. Overall, I love this bag so much. And I think had I had known that I would love this bag so much and use this bag so much, I really wish that this was my first designer purchase versus like my Neverfull, which I rarely use these days. So I do think that that would have gotten like more wear. I wish I would have like thought less about this bag and just like bitten the bullet back then and gotten this instead. Um, I do love this bag. I love it a lot. I still use it quite a bit, especially when I'm traveling and stuff. I do think that with the new prices, I think this bag is now like 2300 or 2350, that it's harder to justify the inconsistencies with the quality of this bag. For under 2000, maybe, but like still a little questionable, I'll be honest. I love this bag and I think that because of how much I use it, I would probably repurchase it. But um, I do also think that there's other mini backpacks out there, maybe that have better quality and um, consistency. Um, and so I think that this is a still really cute bag. If you've been eyeing it, I think that like if there is a time to pull the trigger, I think it's now because this bag is still like long enough on the wait list that people want to buy it but it's not like people are saying oh this bag is over you know so that sums it up for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it um make sure you follow me on tiktok and on instagram um let me know in the comments if you would repurchase this bag if you already have it or if you're thinking of getting it and let me know what other bags you want me to review um i'll leave another video for you guys here and i'll see you guys next time bye